Yo, what is up guys? Snoot here, coming at you with another video of my setups. Uh, I'm just going to give you a little brief overview of uh, the two main setups that I have. Uh, what's changed? I think the last time I did this was Q1 of this year, 2019. So I'm just going to give you a little update about what has changed. Uh, so to start off, I'm just going to show you uh, my uh, TV stand over here. Um, which, as you can probably tell, now has a TV on it. Uh, this is the 40-inch Samsung TV 4K that I had on my desk earlier this year in January uh, when I recorded the last video. Uh, and now it is over here actually acting as a TV. Uh, other than that, uh, the Dyson uh, still here, going strong. I uh, love that thing. Uh, behind the TV, I have my Switch and a controller for it. And then you can see that I have this uh, little device right here. I forget the actual name of it, but what it lets me do is connect a bunch of inputs to two outputs, and then I can use this control um, to switch which inputs are going to which outputs. So right now I have uh, the inputs going both to the same uh, two displays, which I'll, I'll show you a little bit more about that later. Um, other than that, this is just my uh my nightstand so it's a playstation one in there uh some other stuff um, not really worth mentioning uh last time i did this video i didn't really mention my closet at all um uh, because there wasn't really a whole lot to tell about it as you can see it kind of looks like just normal clothes i have my my backpack there uh but then if i open this up one of the things i've been focusing on this year is getting all my shit organized so i have all of these boxes full of stuff that was just taking up space uh, in my room, in my apartment. Um, I have the, the old uh, headlights for my car there. I don't really know what to do with those right now, but um, still have those just sitting there. Uh, you can see more about those headlights and uh, the new headlights that I got uh, on other videos on my channel, so go ahead and check those out if you're curious. Um, Nothing has really changed over here. Bathroom. Uh, I did get a new nightstand. Um, so the old nightstand, which I still have in this room, uh, was junk. Um, so I got a nicer one from Ashley Furniture. Uh, and then probably the most notable upgrade, probably boring for most of you, but uh, this is my, my favorite upgrade that I did this year was my bed. Um, my old bed was... Uh, pretty bad. It was in bad shape. It was broken. The supports were broken. Uh, so I got a new bed from Ashley Furniture. I think this is the dry stand. And then I got a whole new um, uh, set of uh, linens for it. So I really like it. Uh, I think it looks uh, pretty cool. I love the rustic uh, industrial look that it has. It's got the uh, two lights up top. Um, it has two storage cubbies and two drawers uh, for more storage. So that's that's kind of one of the big things that I was trying to do this year was uh, get my shit organized. So I've got more storage down there. Over here, I have the uh, crate and barrel marble and wood um, small little table, little side table. Uh, and on top of it is the, this is the um, Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 Palace Museum Edition wireless charger. Uh, that comes with the phone, and I'll show you that uh, a little bit later. Uh, and let's see if I can get this to go up a little higher. Uh, over here, these are the Hi-Fi Man HE500s that you saw in the last video. A lot of this stuff is going to be the same, but some of it uh, has changed quite a bit, so I thought it was worth showing. Um, just a little bit about these again. Got these on eBay for a really great price. Uh, they came with this custom cable. And this, this cable actually has been giving me uh, some problems. This left connector here is a little loose. Uh, it seems like the threads on it wore out, so I may have to get another cable for this in the near future. Uh, and then I have the uh, this from Amazon. $20 headphone cover just to make that a little more comfortable. And then these came with, uh, I think they're alpha pads. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, Jarvis bamboo standing desk. This is the 60 inch. So you can get kind of get an idea of, of how wide that is. Uh, it's a great desk. Um, a little bit small for me now. 
because uh, as you can see, I no longer use the laptop to the right of the setup over here. I actually got a third LG 32-inch 4K monitor. Uh, so now I have three 32-inch 4K monitors, um, and that has really improved my workflow. I feel like I can see things a lot better. I can fit a lot more uh, on my screen during the day. So for things like context switching, which is something that as a developer uh, working for an agency, you will do heavily, um, that, that's really great for that. Uh, over here, it's the shit stack. Uh, there's the Magni 2 and the Modi 2. Uh, they are still going strong, um, no complaints there. Uh, there's the remote for the Vanna 2 Transparent Zero speakers, also still going strong. Um, you can see that the Terra Master is still back there, still in a dual 4 terabyte RAID 1 setup. Still have the Architect lamp, um, which I usually just keep in the warm setting these days. Uh, that's pretty great. Um, I got the uh, Logitech webcam up here, uh, and then the Samson CO1U mic back there. I took off the pop filter though. It was kind of just taking up a lot of space behind the monitors, um, so I just got rid of it. Uh, so the laptop, still the ThinkPad P71. I haven't upgraded it at all. Still has 32 gigs of RAM. Still has um, a 512 gig M.2 drive a 500 gig two and a half inch drive and a one terabyte two and a half inch hard drive uh, in it. Uh, the keyboard, I forget exactly what this keyboard is called, but this I got on Mash Drop. It is a uh, Bluetooth uh, mechanical keyboard. Uh, this is the 1970s um, SA uh, keycaps that I got from, I think, pimpmykeyboard.com. Uh, they are excellent. Um, I also swapped in uh, the, I think the Xilent V2 switches, the lightest ones that they have. Uh, and this keyboard is also backlit, although I keep the backlight off of this most of the time. So just when you click a key like that, you can see uh, the the color go off there. Um, and just a, a Amazon um, wrist rest, which is nice to use. Um, over here. Uh, this is my newer work laptop, so uh, before it was the 2015 13-inch MacBook Pro i7, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, this is the, I think, 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro with um, an i7, 32 gigs of RAM. I think both laptops had 512 gig SSD, and... Uh, this is the one with the touch bar at the top. Not crazy about this laptop. I really, really, really dislike the keyboard. Uh, trackpad's awesome. Um, I have mixed feelings about this. I wish there was an escape key, which I know the 2019 MacBook Pros have now, but it is what it is. This is what I have for work. Uh, so there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the desk back down. Uh, so as you can see, the cable management is really, really bad, um, and you're going to see this on both setups. Uh, the way I was doing cable management before is I was double-sided taping the power strips to the bottom of the desk, uh, but they are just not holding. Uh, they keep falling, and it's making everything uh, just really terrible. So I'm going to have to redo the cable management for both of these setups uh, at some point this year. Um, but for right now, it's it's sort of working. Uh, then this chair, I just got like an extra chair for this room because, you know, when people are over, it's nice to have another place to sit. So um, this is for that, just a uh, cheap, it's it's kind of like a weird leatherish fabric, uh, probably fake, but it was a hundred bucks. So not a bad chair and it looks pretty good. It kind of fits in uh, with the rustic industrial look that I'm going for here with the new bed and the nightstand. Uh, over here, this is uh, just the bookshelf, um, a little bit different than earlier this year. Um, kind of trying to clear stuff out, like I said, organizing all my shit. So um, these are the games that I will uh, still be leaving out. Um, this shelf is pretty much empty. I did, I got a couple of books on uh, Bitcoin. So uh, Mastering Bitcoin, which teaches you all about the technology and then Programming Bitcoin. Um, so I'm going to try to learn a little bit more about that this year. Uh, Star Wars books, obviously still out here. Um, I think I've read all of 
the all of the ones on this row right now except for um, the Force Awakens. Uh, nothing else on the shelves below that, but this is the chair that I sit in 99% uh, of the time. Uh, I think I got this from Staples or Office Max. I, don't, I never showed it in the last video, but it's what I was using then too. It's a great chair, very comfortable. Um, no complaints about that. Uh, there's an old World Industry skateboard there. Uh, power strip I have not opened or used yet. Um, this is the case that a uh, keyboard, which I'll show you in a minute, the Kono keyboard came in. Uh, and that is a laptop that was um, provided for me from a client from work. Uh, over here, you can see, I'm not going to show my business cards. Um, you can see... Uh, the keyboard I was using for my gaming PC is sitting up here right now. I do plan to use that again at some point. Some books, an old lamp, nothing crazy up here really. Uh, over here, the junk cubby drawer thing is still happening. Um, I do plan on remedying this whole shelf setup, which has been um, just haphazard. Uh, so I, I want to do something about that this year and get that organized. Uh, some cables, an old lamp, uh, and you can see I kind of cleared out a lot of this stuff uh, from last year. And sitting on the floor right now, because I don't really have a good place for this, is the ThinkPad X230. Still has Ubuntu 1604 on it, uh, still sticker bombed, and it's still going strong. It's a great laptop. Uh, I just don't use it a whole lot. Um, over here, I have the Allen & Heath mixer. Uh, now, right now, it's it's on this um, actually a laptop mount, uh, so this could swivel and I could pull this out more if I needed to. Uh, really awesome mixer. I actually kind of found that I need to possibly upgrade it in the future because of the way that I'm using certain things. Um, I could definitely benefit from uh, a more versatile mixer, but for right now, the the mic inputs going in here. Uh, this input right here is actually just a three and a half millimeter, so I could plug a laptop or a phone in there and I could actually get music or whatever, uh, whatever else I want that can take that kind of an output into the stream. Um, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then I have the input here is actually coming from uh, the 166XS uh, compressor limiter gate from DBX. Uh, which you'll see in a second, but I have that set up a little differently now, so it's actually, um, I get better quality audio uh, the way that I have this set up now. Uh, so the uh, Heil um, PL2T uh, boom arm, still here, still going strong. Uh, I can still, you know, move this around as I need to, so when I'm not streaming, it's over here. When I am streaming, I pull it out. Uh, then the Heil PR40, still an excellent mic. Um, and the uh, pop filter for it, um, it's all great. Uh, over here, I have the uh, same HD598 headphones, um, which are still going strong, uh, using it mostly for streaming um, or when I'm trying to keep it quiet. But this is uh, definitely a great pair of headphones um, that I don't plan on getting rid of. Uh, okay, so over here, you can kind of see that this PC looks nothing like the one from my last video. Um, this year I did actually go out, and I'm just going to turn this heater off real quick. Okay, uh, so uh, I did go out and I built a uh, new gaming PC, uh, gaming streaming PC. It has the Core i9-9900K. Uh, I did not overclock it because I don't bother with that stuff. Um, it has 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM. You can see everything's all RGB'd out. Uh, you can see I have all the Corsair LED fans in here. I have the Corsair uh, liquid cooler, which has RGB, and I actually added two more fans to it. So it is four fans for push-pull on the RGB cooler. And the reason I did that was not so much because of the cooling benefits, because I'm not sure that there actually are that many cooling benefits from that, but I wanted it to stick out a little bit more and have uh, the RGB more visible. So strictly aesthetic uh, for me there. Um, I have the same GTX 1080 uh, because honestly, 
there's no need for me to upgrade to a 2080. Uh, I, I'm not really going to get any benefits from that as far as gaming and FPS goes. Uh, the Elgato um, HD Pro is in there as long as uh, as long along with an MSI streaming boost which came with this motherboard. This is an extended ATX motherboard. Um, I forget exactly which model it is, but you can see it has that's the CPU temperature there, and you can see there's a little screen in there that shows um, a little animation. Um, oh, Meg. MSI Meg, which is like, I think, MSI Extreme Gaming or something like that. Um, really, oh, godlike. Okay, so the MSI Meg godlike. That's what this is. Um, really great motherboard. It has some pretty sweet features. Obviously, lots of RGB going on with it. It has a U.2 port, so if I want to get a really high-capacity SSD uh, for PCI Express connectivity, I can do that. Um, I think... This has an EVGA 1200 watt power supply, uh, which is cool. Um, like I said before, lots of RGB fans, and then I can actually open the front of the case here, and you can see the uh, back of the uh, back of the cooler. This is a little dusty. I have to have to clean this, but uh, this has been an awesome PC. Um, definitely overkill. I was totally future-proofing when I built this. It has 8 cores, 16 threads, uh, way more RAM than I need. Graphics card is more than adequate for what I'm doing. Um, overall, has been really excellent to use. Uh, and then the storage is a 2 terabyte M.2 uh, Samsung 970 drive. Uh, this glass, which I can get out of the way, uh, so over here, I have the King UA uh, that you saw in the last video, if you watched that. And then I got the newer version over here because my new phone. So before I had the Xiaomi Mi Mix, uh, the original one, and now I have the Mi Mix 3 Palace Museum Edition. So it's kind of hard to tell because of how reflective the ceramic back is, but it is blue. Uh, you can see the gilded line there. I have a uh, unboxing of this on my channel if you want to check that out. Uh, this is a really excellent phone, obviously no notch. It is a slide down, very satisfying magnetic feel uh, camera, front facing camera. Um, this phone has been awesome. Um, so the reason I have the second wireless charger is because this has wireless charging. So now uh, the Mi Mix sits here and the iPhone XS sits here. Uh, over here, uh, it's the same uh, Origin G2, I think it's called. So variable pre-out, so I can change the volume. I can switch from headphones to speakers. And speaking of the speakers, it is still the Swan M200 MK3, but now they are uh, sitting on these nice speaker stands with foam uh, foam uh, pads underneath. Um, so the reason I did that was because I knew that when I built this whole setup, I wanted to have the monitors and the, the PC on the desk here. So uh, I wanted to be able to actually have the speakers go over that so I could actually hear them properly. Um, not 100% uh, settled with this. I, I may actually do something to make the speakers uh, a little more visible so that I can make sure that I'm getting the best uh, sound penetration as I can, uh, but for the last, um, you know, 11 months, it has been amazing. Um, so over here, uh, as you saw before, I no longer have the 40 inch Samsung 4k, uh, TV as my monitor. I'm actually using two 32 inch 1440p 144 Hertz LG G-Sync enabled, uh, monitors. So no more 1080p BenQ, no more 40 inch Samsung uh, TV. And now I have um, these two, which is great. The bezels are very thin and it, it's a little bit difficult to uh, see how big these actually are. They're still plenty big. Like here's a switch, switch controller, uh, but obviously uh, they're definitely uh, big enough. And then up here, again, uh, LG uh, 1080p webcam. So I'm going to go ahead and put the desk down. So 
So you can kind of see the full setup here. It is uh, definitely awesome to game and stream with. Uh, and you can see underneath here, same problem, cable management is awful. Uh, the box I have over there full of documents and stuff, I'm in the process of trying to do something about that. Um, I really want to get all my shit uh, together. Um, the mouse is the uh, Glorious PC Gaming Race uh, Model O. It's the first generation. I definitely had some problems with the shipping on this one, but it did eventually get to me, and I have to say, it has been an amazing mouse. Uh, I love the cord. It is very light. Um, it, it feels basically wireless, uh, so it, it's been really a uh, top-notch mouse. And then over here, this is the Kono, uh, oh boy. I forget the name of the keyboard. It's from the Kono store. Um, I think it's it's a 96 key. Uh, so it's a compact layout, but it still has the numpad and it still has the F row. Uh, and then the keycap set is from uh, Mass Drop. It is the uh, Danger Zone keycap set. Um, obviously this is RGB lit. This one's not wireless, uh, not a big deal. Uh, but it is a pretty, Pretty cool keyboard. Um, this is a metal frame, which is magnetic, so I can actually pull that off. And then off to the side or rear of it, you can see the entire back, uh, or the, the entire bottom is also RGB lit. So very cool. Uh, the DBX166X, as I said before, is still in my audio chain, and it is uh, awesome. And definitely better utilized now that uh, I have it hooked up a little bit better uh, with my mixer. Um, and then this is what I'm still using for the input. Uh, I have not figured out the USB functionality with my mixer, so this is still what the mic is being captured with on the PC. Over here, I uh, still have the Apple one terabyte time capsule from 2009. Um, it's working, it's not great. I really need to redo my whole network, but um, it's fine for now. Uh, over here, Xbox One controller, uh, the controller for the TV and the Dyson, uh, a Switch gamepad with the nunchucks or whatever they call them now. My keys, which you can see here, I have the Pokemon Go Gotcha. I have two of them now, which is awesome. Um, so I have uh, the two phones, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 and uh, the iPhone XS. So I use um, I use both phones to play and then my wallet over there, the Jarvis Bamboo uh, controller. So there's not really uh, that much else to, to show. I guess I can show one other cool thing. Uh, my transitions for my stream. They are all kind of like a Star Wars aesthetic. Uh, I had a guy, I think in Sweden, do these for me, really cool. But uh, So I just switched to the Elgato, which you can see is the, uh, uh, the uh, Pokemon game I have running on my Switch right now, which is also running over there. So uh, the reason I have that little remote with the multi-input, multi-output HDMI switch uh, so that I can have something going to the stream and going uh, to my TV at the same time. Uh, so that's really it. Not a whole lot else to show. Uh, there is a new lamp over there. Not very exciting. The same headphones are up here. Jimi Hendrix is still on my wall. Uh, but yeah, so there is the gaming setup in all of its glory. And then over here is the work setup. So not a whole lot has changed, but it feels like a lot to me. I think definitely the new bed and the new gaming PC um, have uh, really improved um, the amount of fun and the workflows I have uh, for my job. Uh, and then, you know, the bed really improves uh, sleep. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I will hopefully post another one of these updates at some point during 2020. 
uh, hoping to get a lot more of my shit organized and uh, kind of make this all cleaner and nicer and better to use. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.